Throughout primary school, we were introduced and we learned about the number line. And we realized that the number line ended at zero. However, in high school, we're going to notice that the number line does not end at zero. It actually extends. And to the left-hand side of the number line, we have what we call directed or negative numbers. Now, these numbers actually have a value smaller than zero. So they are pretty small in value. Now, let's look at the number line here. It's an example of how the number line is and as you can see we have straight in the middle the number zero so the zero divides the number line into what we have on the left and what we have on the right on the right we have the positives and on the left we have the negatives now this number line very critical that you understand it and we're going to be using it in future lessons to add and subtract negative numbers or directed numbers it's going to come very handy later on here we can see that the zero is in the middle and it starts one, two, three, four, and the line continues and the arrow shows us that the numbers actually extend beyond the nine. On the other side we have the numbers again from zero then going down minus one, minus two, minus three or negative one, negative two, negative three going down extending and the arrow shows the, the numbers continue on. So on the right we have the positive side and on the left we have the negative side. At times you're going to be asked to graph or plot the points on a number line. Let's see how we do that. So as an example we're going to be asked to plot negative 7 and negative 4 and negative 1 and 3 and 5. So to plot these numbers on a number line we simply place a dot, a big dot, on the number line. Here we have negative 7. We plot the point by putting a dot on the negative 7. On the negative 4, there we go. On the negative 1, There we go, on the 3, and on the 5. So when we're asked to plot or graph numbers on a number line, that's exactly what we do. It's as simple as that. However, it's critical that we don't put the point on the wrong number. We can distinguish between negative numbers and positive numbers, as you can see there. So this is the number line. It's basic. Positives on the right, negatives on the left. In the future lessons, we're going to see how we're going to use the number line to actually add or subtract negative or directed numbers.